born with the name Kimayan Jai Shilal, his planet of Kali was ravished by the war that followed between the native Kalish and the Yamri, also known as the Hook. Kimayan was considered a great warrior among his people, over time became a master sniper and by the age of 22 he had slain so many Hook that the Kalish people considered him a demigod. Eventually, the love of his life, Rondru Lij Kumar, was killed by the hook which drove the young Kalish into a psychotic depression. Shilal did what he could to bury his grief, as he ended up marrying 10 wives and fathering 30 children, but none of this seemed to be able to fill the void of Kumar's death. Eventually, he realized that it was his destiny to mourn her as long as he lived. With this in mind, Kimayan Jai Shilal removed his old identity and adopted the name Grievous, which seemed more appropriate for a grieving, heartbroken person. With his hate fueling him, Grievous became a warlord and managed to force the Hook out of Kali. But his bitterness did not end with that triumph. He pushed back even further, storming their colony worlds. His attacks and mass destruction of the entire Hook planets ensured Kali's victory until the Hook turned to the Galactic Republic for help. Sent to stop the war were many Jedi Knights and they sided with the Hook. Hefty fines and embargoes came down upon the Kalish by the Republic. Kali ended up in poverty and hundreds of thousands of Kalish starved and died. With many years in battle, Grievous had suffered near fatal injuries which left his body utterly useless, or so he was told. Sun Hill, the chairman of the intergalactic banking clan, had planted evidence that pointed to a Republic plot in order to feed Grievous's rage. The actual truth was that Grievous had proved his resilience once again, so Sun Hill added more injuries to his body in order to make his body as broken as the chairman had claimed. Sun Hill promised to replace Grievous's broken body. Grievous agreed to any conditions that the banking clan offered as his desire for vengeance against the Galactic Republic and the Hook was too great to pass on. It was around this time that Grievous learned about the vandalized sacred Kalish burial grounds by the Hook and that the Republic had done nothing. This news reawakened his desire to defend his people. So he abandoned his contract with the banking clan and returned to Kali for revenge. Sun Hill was not pleased when he heard what happened. He considered ordering that Grievous be assassinated, but he feared the vengeance that the Kalish would take if he survived. Instead, Hill conspired with Pogul, the Archduke of Geonosis, Darsidius and Count Dooku for them to arrange Grievous's permanent servitude. Around 25 years after the Battle of Yavin, Grievous was seen as a religious figure and was worshipped as a deity by the Kalish and the planet Kali. They even built a temple in his honor. The citizens of the wider galaxy regarded him as General Grievous, a brilliant commander and a merciless enemy. Alright guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching my videos and if you like them, don't forget to leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you haven't already and don't miss out on any of my future videos that I will post on this channel. Have a fun day and in closing, don't forget, may the force be with you always.